Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Thang and welcome to this Let's Plant video. So as you know, I have a lot of hybrids and a lot of succulents that I need to plant. But before we get started, I just want to show you something uh, because of my super gritty mix that I have been using. Um, so these two right here, this is a Korean hybrid and this is a comp uh, Pachevera Compacto Jewel, little jewel right here. Um, so this one is now doing really well in the Bonsai Jack mix. As you see, um, it's, it's Rosette has actually opened up because it was actually really closed before because it was trying to survive. Um, it has finally have enough rooting system around for it to absorb the nutrients, absorb the water that I feed it every day. And you see right here, when you try to pull it off, it's hard to pull because the rooting system has a, it's pretty much settled in. And you see how thick and how firm these things are? Mwah, beautiful. So the Bonza Jack mix does work. Uh, this is my own mix right here. This little uh, compacto jewel, little jewel right here, I was actually not doing really well because I've beheaded it. I've cut off the root and planted in. And I was waiting for it to, you know, regrow root and it was shriveling up. Now that it finally, finally has its rooting system in place and attach itself onto the particles, like this one here, it is doing really well. You can see right there. Um, and the reason why I I've, I pretty much beheaded and cut off its old rooting old rooting system because the old rooting system was attached to a lot of dirt, a bunch of dirt, and I didn't want to continue on or move on with dirt anymore. Not only that, um, but because it was so bunched up with dirt that when I watered, I know that it was gonna get root rot. So that's why I cut it off and just you know settled down for a brand new rooting system. And here we go. Does very well. Does very fine. Either or does fine. So these two, because it's a super gritty mix, I can pretty much water these every single day, morning or nighttime, whatever I feel like it, and it's super drainage. I mean, like really drainage. So I'm gonna put this aside. Um, I have a lot of things to do, but we can't actually plant everything today because we have to prep it uh, for us to put into the gritty mix. Um, prepping means that I need to get rid of all the rooting system that it currently has right now so that it could develop new ones. So that's what we're going to do first and then we're going to plant the things that have already started rooting out. Okay, so this red rocket right here, actually I think it's a Ben Baldus. This is fine so far because it has no rooting system on the bottom. Um, all the old one is all gone now so this one is perfectly fine. I can't get rid of this these because it's too tiny. So this one is already prepped, ready to go. Uh, this one needs to be prepped because it has the old rooting system right here, which is all dried up and it's not really doing anything at all. It's, it can't even attach itself onto the new particles. So what we need to do is we need to one, snipe it off right there, this much. You can go this much or you can go all the way, whatever you want to, but usually this much is, is a pretty good, uh, decent amount of stem left. And also when we actually cut it, uh, when we cut it, don't get rid of this, okay? You can plant this back into a soil mix if you want to and water it normally. And you know what? Guess what? It'll, it'll start probably, hopefully, it'll pop up new babies. Don't throw these out, okay, guys? Put them aside. Now, this has to heal for a few days. I'm just going to leave it aside just for um, a few days and then it's going to start rooting out. And also, don't ever pull any of these leaves off unless it's super dry because there's still nutrients on this leaf versus oh well it just fell off but don't pull it off um, usually if there's no more nutrients it just falls off but if there's still nutrients in there it won't pull it won't fall off so don't pull them off okay because your plants are still gonna use that little nutrients left to grow roots or to gr grow itself so that's done this one is not ready yet because the root is not there so that's fine we're just gonna pull that off that's nothing. This one we need to pull all this off because this is I, this it does nothing really. It does nothing. Um, there's no new roots anyway, so that's fine. That's fine. That's what we want, right? That's fine. That's what I do. That's what I do, anyways. You don't have to do like me. You can just pluck it in, put it into you know the soil if you want to. But that's how that's how I do it. Uh, this one does not have any new roots at all. That's fine. Get rid of that because it seems like it's so. It's like. It's all dried up, anyways. Now that's done. So for this exact same thing, 
cut this off, but do not throw this one out, okay? Because if you do throw it out and then, you know, what if it grows babies? There you go. Side, these Tinkerbells, you know. Tinker, Tinkerbell. i put that aside. Okay. So, here is a perfect example. There's a little babies down there. You don't want to get rid of the babies, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to pluck this off, okay? I'm going to pluck this off too. I mean, I'm going to propagate it propagate it using these things anyway, so it's okay. It still has a lot of plumpy leaves, so uh, I'm going to put these two aside. And then I'm going to cut it right about her. You see right about her? Okay. That's it. And then this, I'm just going to put it into one of the grading mix and this will um, grow out like little uh, little, little roots and then we're just going to have new bone babies. That's pretty much So This salmon is a little interesting um, because it still has a huge rooting system. So what we're going to do is, hmm, but it's not long enough for me to reuse it. So what I'm going to do is pull that off and just pull this off itself. Pull that off. I mean, I was going to, you know, um, uh, cut this off, but I don't think I have a choice really. So I'm just gonna replant it like this. I mean, it has enough stem anyway. So, mmm, I love the smell. I love the smell of stuff. This doesn't have enough anyway. So we're gonna cut it off right about here. And we're gonna throw out the bottom stem because there's not enough for it to be reused anyway. This all gone, I think. This all gone. All gone, all gone. All gone. Oh, I think I see new roots coming out too. So I see new roots. I'm not I'm not gonna touch the new roots. You can tell if it's new roots if it's like super pinkish. My cat is yelling at me because he just finished pooping. It's super pinkish. So that we're gonna leave this as is right here. That's it. So I mean you can see the little pinkish stuff right there on the side. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, see that's new roots right there. So this is good to go. The old roots are gone. Um, I don't know, there's one more little old root left. I'm gonna get rid of that. So this is also ready. This is pretty much itself ready to be planted in. Um, this one. Oh, really fucked up, aren't you? We're gonna leave you as is then. It's, you're your fun. Yeah, you're you're your fun. You're fine with that one. Salmon's done. These are ready to go. Okay. So I've been contemplating whether or not. I want to chop these all off or leave them as is um, because one I can chop it all off and put this in the ground and hopefully new babies will come out uh, we can do that I'm gonna throw these out there very very dry leaves you know super dry leaves and sometimes it just takes like a week sometimes it takes like two weeks for it to actually regrow roots which is perfectly fine so I might just want to snap all this off and just put this, this itself into a new soil mix. Um, and then hopefully it'll give me new babies. Oh my God, I don't, I don't know if I want to do this. Do I really want to do that? Oh, it's so beautiful. I mean, I mean, it fits in the thing itself. So you know what, I think, to be honest, I'm just gonna leave it as is and then put it in the thing and then just hopefully new soil, new roots will, will grow, new roots will definitely regrow. That's not, that's not gonna be like a problem. I just, I just don't wanna cut it cause it's so beautiful. You know what I mean? It's just so magnificent. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm not gonna cut it apart or anything. I'm just gonna put it in and then we'll see where we go from there. Or you know what? I might just cut it apart. I might, oh, all, all the roots is, Okay, I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it in its new pot. Uh, yeah. I mean, if if like a week later it'll start like sprouting roots here, I'm just gonna snip and then just put it in its new pot. So we'll we'll do that. We'll do that instead. How about that? This one 
itself has to be separated because oh rooting uh, I'm gonna keep that this one right here has to be snapped off graciously oh my god it's already it's already it already has like its baby roots coming up so how do we how do we get rid of that I mean I like it as it is but this needs to be in the ground by itself so we're gonna snap it off there we go snap it off I know a lot of you are like oh my god he's snapping things ah he's snapping things off like have no fear you know if you know how to take care of your plants it should be fine uh, these ones I think also might have to put them off by itself snap 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 uh, okay I will decide those later on what I'm gonna do I might have to do that off screen but that's okay so we got we got one here uh, two three four five six six roots we're gonna put them into its own pots later on so let's get started with planting some of these things oh and also this here right here this stem needs to be cut off uh, when you cut this off you can actually put them into um, into hydroponics water for it to grow or into a soil and it'll just it'll just grow and just grow uh, because if we don't cut it off it's gonna drain all the leaves in the bottom and that's not a that's not a good thing also let's prep this as well because we need to like get rid of like these things because there's there's a lot of dead leaves on the bottom like a lot of dead leaves even though there's like it's there's it's not gonna be sucking nutrients from here anymore it's sucking nutrients from like all the other leaves because I can feel all the, uh, the the inner leaves like being drained so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this off first oh you guys are gonna hate me aren't you there we go snap that off oh poor baby oh poor baby mmm <laughs> beautiful flower don't worry I've done that before I've snapped off the uh, the bloom stalk and just put it into soil and it just regrow which is really cool actually somebody I think Jasmine Jasmine told me about that yes Jasmine told me about that then I totally forgot about it and then I just did it on my own. But Jasmine told me about it. Um, yeah, I'm snapping these off because these are ugly. You see how, like, underneath here? Like, this is this is gone. Like, this is not gone because this is damaged. Damage. Damage. So you want to get rid of all the damaged stuff anyways, right? Before we plant them in. Um, this has already started rooting. Like, the rooting is, like, very, very small and tiny. I have contacts that I can't see, so it's like it's right, right there, like the one tiny one. Um, the all also the another reason why we want to get rid of this is because we want to bury this little stem into our our soil mix. Uh, we don't want it outside because I've I've had experience with it like being outside, and then the roots come out, and then um, it just gets dried, um, and it dies, and and then it has to use more energy to like. Um, to like um, make new roots so that's that's not something that we want so this is good um, this won't fit into this because it's too big I mean I could but I think it looks better into a bigger pot like this right I mean I can always transplant them when when it gets smaller I'm not gonna take these off because it's still viable for the plants to use um, because there's still it's not damaged and it's still there's still nutrients on there so we're not gonna do that these ones however we're gonna throw out because it was damaged before okay guys let's throw these out first always have a clean workspace okay guys always have a clean workspace that's why I move over into the gritty mix because I can't stand soil anymore soil I can't I can't stand soil so I just can't stand soil okay let's put this here. oh did I not I think I not okay so what we need first as always window screen right here or fiberglass put them none I like honestly no matter what 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 um because the hole is too big right there you do want to use the window screen so that way the particles from here does not fall down next up is always your clay ball your clay ball so okay. um, because the bonsai jack already has like wood chip inside I'm not gonna be putting any of the uh, cocoa fiber or cocoa choir inside because we don't need that 
Okay, but what we do need is is guess what we need? We need some volcanic soil. Volcanic soil adds back into uh, adds adds the nutrients back into the inorganic mix like this, right? So we just mix it a little like that. Okay, our hands gonna get dirty. That's okay. We mix it. We have a mixer right here. We have a mixer. Okay. Add some more on top. Okay, and add some of the these. I think these are melting because of the weather. Okay. Always have you know what? So when you put your plants in, okay, mixing mixing it so that it's equally around. Okay, when you're when you're um sorry, who it is by the way. When you are planting, always have the uh, volcanic soil more in the middle uh, because that's where your stem is going to be, right? So that's where the, the, the baby roots are going to, are going to sprout out and you want, you want the baby root to have nutrients as fast as you can, as fast as they can. So that way they're not searching all over the place for where the nutrients are. Okay. Um, it's like, why make your plants work harder than it should? Right, that's that's the, the golden rule. Like, why make why make things more tougher than it should? And so that is done for the madaba. See how easy that is? It's super super easy. Now, why do I have like volcanic soil on top and all over the place? Because volcanic soil actually melts slowly. Yes, it melts slowly. So probably after a year, two year or so, you'll have to get new volcanic soil, which is like new new soil anyway. After two years of you know your dirt soil, you have to replace that because the nutrients are gone, right? Same thing with volcanic soil. At least you can tell that it's gone, right? At least you can tell. Okay, so let's put this in here, okay? And then we get some of the. I love me some of, of the clay balls. The clay balls are really nice because they create such a nice false bottom, right? Okay, we that much up there. And then we get some volcanic. Ooh, it is getting hot. Uh, let's see. Volcanic soil. Volcanic soil really is just like compressed soil, guys. It's nothing, it's not magic or anything. It's just it's just compressed soil. That's all there is. So you just mix it in. So it's even, it looks even, even Steven, right? Evenly in. All right, there you go. So that way, when the, um, the roots are just spreading out, it's evenly out for them so that they just nom, 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 eats, 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 eats up the soil, right? Right there. Gingerly. Right there, see? Gingerly right there. That's where you always want your root to be. So that's it. This, we're gonna remove this, because that looks like it's damaged. Damaged, damage, damage, okay. And then just place it in there. Once you place it in there, give it a little shake as well. Give it a little shake, okay. And make sure, guys, I know, I ha I'm probably one of the worst person to give advice for this, but make sure you don't constantly lift the succulent up uh, because like in a greedy mix like this, it just damages the succulent. Okay, I know, I'm, I'm the worst like offender for that because I do that all the freaking time. Okay, all the freaking time. Why? Because I just want to see the progress of my stuff, right? Oh my god. Stop hating on a sister. I mean brother. Brother, sister, whatever you want to call me. Uh, let's put that in there. Okay. And then more clay balls. More clay balls. Okay. And then succulent mix. Succulent mix. Mix that up. Mm, maybe that's too much. Maybe. Mm, maybe. Sometimes it is. A little too much, girl. Got it. Okay. Put some of this in. It's just a handful. You know, that's it. That's all there is. It's just a handful. Not much, really. 
and then you just kind of like stir it right like you're cooking it's like cooking cooking succulent meals su cooking meals for your succulent Ooh, we should do that cooking meals for your succulents okay that's good because it's in the outer part right now we want it to be in more the inner parts right there you go so this next one we're also going to be moving this it looks oh there's a baby underneath girl Remove that it because it, it feels honestly it feels damaged damage it feels very damage um okay so what we're gonna do is sprinkle a little of it right here in the middle okay and then we're just gonna place it underneath like gingerly scraping it in like that all right have a little truffle like that and that's it okay uh, next one uh, do I have any more I'll be right back oh they just pretty much flew 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 down so that's fine the next one we're gonna do is the uh, Echever X Parva raindrop X Parva sorry I'm not sorry but I'm not sorry I'm seriously not sorry stop saying that um, okay, let's put that there. Honestly, guys, I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert at succulents. I just, it's just, this is just from my experiences, you know, and from my experiences and that's it. I'm not an expert. i there's, there's other people who have done this much better than I have. I just think this is a good way for me to learn even more about succulents. And you know, this mix itself, you can pretty much water water your succulents like i said day in and day out and they're perfectly fine um i've only had one die because um it still had a lot of like the dirt soil mix the dirt soil clumped in it and i kept watering every day and it just got because it wasn't creating any new roots Right, so when it didn't create any roots, guess what? All the old roots were still like clumped in soil, and when you water it, guess what? It died it, and that was my barren bowl. I saved. I, it's kind of saved. I don't know what's going on. It's kind of safe. It's kind of not saved. Who knows? So this one, we can get rid of this. Uh, actually, no, no, no. This one's right here. We we can't get rid of this one. Uh, these two, they're still actually this one. We can get rid of this one because it seems like it's all dried out. It's fine and the other two there's still nutrients in them so like I said don't do not do not do not, do not um, remove any leaf that still has nutrients in them okay, okay and that's about it just ex parva raindrop ex parva is so beautiful thank you succulentia and Leo I'm gonna actually gentlemen I'm gonna shop more with them when the summertime comes summer summer loving Da 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 That's good. I think that's good. Okay, I think that's good. I bet you anything within a week it's it's gonna root. Sometimes some some succulents do just require, you know, um being in soil and water and stuff and they just root. Okay. So this one and then one more over here and then that big champagne we're gonna do and then we're that's done for this uh, let's plant of the video and these ones I'm gonna wait for until you know it grows a little bit of the root and then we can get more of the parte starte um, I think you know this this batch it's gonna be my final batch for like you know plant haul because I think I have so much at the current time being so much so much of the hybrids and then we're just gonna do update videos about on how they're doing you know um, but I mean you can see that you can see hold on, this one's doing really well the other ones that I've shown also on stream constantly are doing really well as well so it's not like it's it's not dying or anything or not living it's doing really well you know and I think honestly, I've gotten the great, the, the an actual good mixture of like gritty mix and also n nutrients as well in 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 the uh, in the mix. That's how you say things. I can't English sometimes. Okay, you guys. 
I can't English. Okay, that's all there is. I can't English sometimes. So we're gonna put this in as well. That's it. Shake it up a little. Remember, don't pick it up and look at it. Cause I know I have that. I have that thing where I do. This one's ready to go too. So we're gonna we're gonna use this too. Uh, I'm gonna remove the bottom of this. I'm gonna just take this little right here. Take that off. Okay. I'll be right back because I need another one of these. Okay. Hold on. Okay. So um, yes, put this in here, like always, guys. I know it's, it's so repetitive, like I do the exact same thing because I live in an apartment. I don't live in a house where it's like beautiful greenhouses and all that stuff. I mean, I wish I had a house so then we can build a beautiful greenhouse. Ha, ha, ha. Maybe one day. Maybe one day when you guys support me enough, I'll be like a bigger YouTuber and we can like have a house together, you know. Okay, that's good. So this is almost done, um, which means that... Um, which means nothing really which means nothing really okay so let's pour this in like I said always like always have a good um, you know clean workspace like you don't want to be cleaning up too much afterwards right before it was like super dirty because it was dirt Ugh. right now it's just like gravels and stuff I'm gonna step on it I'm gonna hurt myself but that's okay Okay, so this one, is this one also ready? This one's not ready yet. This one's ready to go in. Um, this one's ready to go in. Sprinkle some volcanic soil right here, right? That's where you want the nutrients to be the most. It's like, whoosh. Right, that's it. I feel like this looks like this, but it's not. You know what I mean? It kind of looks like it, but it's not. Oh my god, this pizza and this rabba looks almost the same. You know, sometimes it's like there's twins, but they're not twins because they're kind of not twins. You know what I mean? Okay, last one we have to plant is this beautiful um, Echeveria, Echeveria uh, Champignon. Champagne. I know Champignon means mushroom. Don't correct me. I just like how it sounds. This is the Le Champignon, okay guys? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna put it here, and yeah, that's it. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is we need a, this, always. Um, and the roots actually is pretty big on this one. It gets pretty long. Um, so we're gonna, I believe we're gonna use my super gritty mix in this version. Okay. So I think that's enough clay balls. I love the balls, guys. Everybody knows. Ugh. Okay, so I think we need to use this versus the Bonsai Jack mix because the Bonsai Jack mix, um, we're about to run out and I actually like to use that on the rainbow. I'm gonna save this for the rainbow and the other one over there. I got it. Uh, I'll be right back, hold on, okay? A little of this, right? A little of the gravel right there. Okay. Now we're gonna mix it up just a little bit, so that way we have some of the uh, coconut, coconut fiber on top as well, right? I mean. It's not like we really need it, but it's nice to have it too. So hold on, I'm gonna put some more on there. Some more. This helps to retain the water. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's a weird bush right there. Okay. Mix this up, you guys. We already have. Honestly, we already have the. Uh, coconut, sorry, not volcanic stuff, but we're gonna mix some more into it. Okay, just like a little bit more of that. Mix this all up. Okay, sh 
shove that down. Shove, shove, shove that down, okay guys? Shove all this down. If you can, you know, shove it down. Okay, not that, it's not doing that great. <laughs> okay, I think that's good enough. Okay, and then, so that, we need some of that on top. And then we're just gonna let it ride for the night. Sprinkle it right there, because I know that's where it's gonna be. Okay, sprinkle this here. Sprinkle this here, okay. Sprinkle this here, okay. You know, flatten it out, flatten it out. Take out all the nasty wood chip that we don't need. Okay, guys. And then, in the middle, in the middle, always in the middle, always in the middle, right? Like I said, don't make your plant work harder than it should. And then just, just squeeze that in there. Hallelujah. Girl, that's how we plant. Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huh. I wish it was back into its more compacted form, but because of the bloom stock, it, it just didn't. Anyways, so I think that's all there is that we're gonna do for the day. Um, yeah. I, I should have just planted this in when it was like nice and like bunch up together but that's okay so these one we're gonna get re ready for another day another video because we have to make sure that it's um, it's um, roots are coming out I mean you could always do it but it's it's nice just to see the roots are coming out first before you put it into the soil anyways so that is it for this let's plant video I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from it and I'll see you guys in the next one where we finish off all this one right guys anyways um, thank you so much for watching if you like this video a thumbs up would definitely be appreciated if you're new to the channel press subscribe remember press subscribe and notification ding dong so that you know when I put something up and check out the Facebook page that I have because like I said I'm, slow, I'm slowly writing them up and and I'll see you guys in the next video. Love ya. Bye. Mwah.